this island is one of the many, many critical nesting habitats on the southern coast of Louisiana that's being hammered by this oil. These birds are, there's dozens of adult pelicans here that are severely oiled. Um, many have already died. Uh, there's some in here that will die later today or tomorrow, certainly. Um, they're preening themselves, ingesting the oil. They have it in their eyes. Uh, they, can, they cannot fly anymore with their feathers so heavily oiled, so they can't go out and feed. So either they starve to death or they have toxic contamination from ingesting the oil, or both, likely. There's an oiled pelican flying out, trying to fly out here. He's having a hard time, but he, he just sat down on the water here. You see him? Right up here. He can fly. He's not going to be able to. He's, this is a dead bird. He's not going to be able to fish anymore. Uh, there certainly have been thousands of birds killed by this spill so far. There will be thousands more. There will be eggs that are not laid in future years. and. Um, uh, low survival possibly in some of these colonies for years to come. It's just a tragedy. So, you know, if the only thing we get out of the Deepwater Horizon is better safety regulations for offshore drilling and better government oversight, I think we've really missed a real opportunity here to get to sustainable, clean energy in this country, where we know we've need, needed to go for decades, but we just have, we've, we've been too lazy, essentially. We've had easy energy, and uh, we haven't done the work that's necessary to get us there. Under tiden letar oljebolagen vidare efter ny olja på allt mer svåråtkomliga platser, som här i Arktis. Ironiskt nog underlättar effekterna av klimatförändringarna sökandet efter mer olja. Då den skyddande isen försvinner blir nya havsområden tillgängliga för oljeutvinning. Arktiska rådet har beskrivit möjligheten att rensa upp efter en oljekatastrof i Arktis som begränsade och metoderna som opolitliga och oprövade. Djurlivet i Arktis är redan starkt hotat av smältande isar, miljögifter och försurning av haven. Ett scenario liknande det i Mexikanska golfen kan vara fullständigt ödestiget för isbjörnar, fåglar och en biologisk mångfald vi ännu vet så lite om. Vi på Greenpeace vill ha ett stopp för all exploatering av Arktis.